NASA's mission is to explore the unknown. There's more that we don't know than we do know. That's just the nature of the universe. In the search for answers, it launches its scientists into space, its craft beyond the limits of the solar system. Taking risks is part of making discoveries. Space exploration is like lighting a match, and we don't know what lurks in the shadows. Hey, what is that? There could be anything out there. A NASA satellite captures a huge cosmic explosion. Suddenly, this giant object just appears out of nowhere. It looks like there's something in the orbit of Mercury. Right there. What is that? Looks like a flying saucer. What's that doing there? NASA's stereo program uses twin spacecraft to look at the sun from two angles. The cutting edge extreme ultraviolet sensors create unique images of the most destructive events in the solar system. These are these huge explosions from the surface of the sun, and they put out a lot of mass, a lot of plasma that is emitting light. And as this plasma travels, it encounters the planet Mercury. Mercury's proximity to the sun makes it a prime target for these solar rejections. These magnetized bubbles of burning plasma are called coronal mass ejections. And usually, as long as they don't fire at Earth, they do no harm. But in December 2011, a blast lashing towards Mercury appears to strike something. Just before striking the planet Mercury, suddenly, out of nowhere, something appears. It looks like a spacecraft. It's almost as if a spaceship's cloaking device just got destroyed. It's like those moments in Star Trek where the Klingon bird of prey suddenly reveals its presence. The object becomes known as the Mercury Mothership. The appearance of the unidentified object on images from NASA spacecraft generates intense speculation. A lot of people look at that video and say, this proves that spacecraft are hiding out there in our solar system, and this one, the camouflage, was simply blown off by the solar rejection. The notion of cloaking technology for spaceships being able to hide is super popular in science fiction, in Star Trek, but it's actually real technology that we have right now. One of the world's leading defense contractors already has working prototypes of an advanced cloaking device capable of masking the infrared signature of war machines as big as a tank. But even though cloaked spaceships are a theoretical possibility, analysis of the NASA imagery reveals there may be a simpler explanation for the Mercury mothership. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but this is not an uncloaking alien ship. It's an artifact of the image processing. Each day that Soho takes photographs, those images are combined into a movie. Things that aren't moving get taken out. Things that are moving stay behind. And in this video, what's moving? The stars are moving, Mercury is moving, the solar energy is moving. What we're seeing here is actually a ghost image of Mercury from the previous day. What looks like an uncloaking ship was, in fact, Mercury the day before. When NASA probes the far reaches of space, it must be prepared for anything. The universe is an enormous place. It's mind-blowingly large. We are just scratching the surface of understanding. The one thing nobody expects to find is total nothingness, a giant hole in the universe. We just didn't believe it. We thought there's got to be something wrong with the calculation. There's no hole in the universe which is that big. To see nothing, well, that's just plain bizarre. In 2007, 
Astrophysicist Lawrence Rudnick is using the WMAP satellite to plot radiation from the Big Bang when he sees something strange. When you look at the map, you see spots which are a little hotter uh, and spots which are a little colder, and it just sort of looks like a random pattern. But there were some things that just sort of stuck out like a sore thumb. There's a spot that's just colder than it should be at random, and that's the thing that we call the cold spot. Intrigued, Rudnick uses the Very Large Array radio telescope in Socorro, New Mexico, to take a closer look at this cold spot. And what he finds is mind-blowing. There's a hole. There's nothing there. The Big Bang Theory predicts a universe that has a very uniform distribution of, of matter. Uh, the, the problem with the giant void is that uh, it's so large and, and it appears empty of matter. And that's quite mysterious because from the Big Bang Theory, we expect everything to be spread uniformly. For most astrophysicists, the supervoid is a puzzle, an anomaly in need of investigation. For Laura Massini Houghton, it's something much bigger. Her explanation is that the supervoid is nothing less than evidence of the existence of multiple universes. The giant void is giving us hints that we are not that special. Our universe is not at the center of the cosmos, it's just a domain, a member, in, in a much larger and more complex structure. We are embedded in, in a uh, larger space-time, in a multiverse. The multiverse is the possibility that there are other universes than ours, making space not the final frontier. The idea that we might actually be seeing a trace of a parallel universe bumping into us in some way, it sounds like science fiction. But so often we find science fiction becomes science fact. If Professor Massini Houghton is correct, we may have to revisit the Big Bang theory. But when it comes to a phenomenon as far beyond human understanding as the supervoid, there are no easy answers. We don't know where it came from. We don't know how it can exist. And I hope I live long enough to see the mystery resolved.